Hi, it's uh, Giselle. I promised you that I'd show you how to how I make my dragonflies for the patio doors. It's very simple. Here's the finished product, like I said in video one. And um, I'm going to show you. It's a 24 gauge wire. Cut yourself a piece of about 20 inches. You won't need all that much, but you know it's better to start with a longer piece. Okay, then you're going to need some beads. These are sort of, they're plastic, but they're, they look like they're, I don't know, crystal looking, but they're not. And you need about 32 to 34, depending on the size of the bead that you're going to, you're going to use. Okay. And you just insert them into your, your wire here, which is about 20 inches long. Okay. And then you're going to need some, uh, these little pearl, uh, beads to make the tail. You need your glue gun uh, because I'm going to hide uh, the, um, I'm going to wrap around the wire around here where the two wings are. I'll show you. So you need something to hide uh, and you get one of these little glitter things. They're very inexpensive to buy. So they would look very cute over here. See? Okay. So let's start. So I've already started. I've inserted, uh, I think. 34 of these beads here okay then you find your center fold it well fold it put it together okay and then twist it just twist the wire okay so you got one big circle I find it's the easiest way to do it you know just instead of doing two separate wings because then you're using more wire so tighten it make sure that it's tight and then you find your center and you just bend it to make two wings try to center it like this okay and then the reason why I uh, made this longer is because you're going to wrap some of it around your wing. Okay, so that your wing stays secure. Maybe wrap the two sides one time over with each of them. Okay. So that's why um, I'm going to glue the uh, little gem in here in the middle so that you don't see the wire at all. First of all, the wire is silver, so, you know, it's hardly, hardly noticeable, but um, it's better to, uh, to hide it, okay? So you've got your two wings, okay? Then we're going to put that aside, and we're going, I'm going to make, I've already started it, the teardrops, okay? You need a wire about, um, about six and a half inches long. Okay, so what I've done is I've started, I'll show you, okay, so in order to secure your little um, teardrops at the end so you don't lose your beads, get yourself um, the uh, needle nose pliers, bend it, make the little circle, Okay, when you've got a little circle, maybe, you know, twirl it two or three times. Okay. And then it stops the bead from falling down. And then this is going to act like part of the uh, dragonfly anyway. So it's not going to, it's not going to look awful. Okay. So then I start sliding um, the teardrop beads here and I've decided to use about five of them you can use five or six depending on the size of the teardrop that you want to use because there are teardrops that are larger than others see the difference this one the longer one is about uh, not quite one inch and the smaller one Oh, a quarter of an inch so that's the difference okay so I've decided to use the longer one okay 
this is thicker. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see. Yep, that's about the size of the tail that I want. Okay, so then this again is gonna go is gonna be go wrapped around here. So again, that's why you know uh, we're gonna put that little gem so to hide all this wiring. So wrap it around once, one one and a half times. Okay, so you're gonna have wire left over, and that's fine because. You can use the wire to make your little antenna heads for its little head. Okay, you can insert in one of the wires the uh, the little head and then curve it. And I'll show you how. Okay, it's very easy. So I'll cut the wire. So the wire should be oh, about close to two inches because you need to, to make a little circle. So give yourself enough room to work with. This wire here, we can cut it. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so well, so now you've got two little wires sticking out here, and they're going to make the little antennas for the head. Okay, then I'm going to get myself another bead that's slightly larger than the beads that I used for the wings. Okay, I have one that's uh, what is it, sort of in a yellow tint. Uh, let's see where it is. It's up to you what size you want to use. You can use, you know, this is the same one. Okay. You can use a shiny one. You can use a colored one. It's up to you the way you want to make your dragonfly. You can use one that looks like a pearl. This one is sort of uh, on the yellow tint, so I like it. So it's, I think it's big enough for me to insert the two wires inside. That's what you want. You want a, you want a bead that has a hole big enough to insert your wire. There you go, it fits in there, so. When you have your, when you, you prepare your 24 gauge wire, then just try it and see if it fits the bead, the hole in the bead, and then you'll judge whether it's a, it's a good, uh, good bead. Okay. So then you've got your two little antennas. Then at this point, you can, um, glue your little uh, little gem here like this see that's very pretty so I'm gonna glue the little gem get my my glue gun okay just place a little bit a little glue in the back press on it until it's stable see how pretty it looks Okay, when you think that the glue is set, 
and you can work with your little antennas here. Okay. Uh, they're probably still too long, so I'll tell you what size that I'm left with. When I'm finished, you don't want to cut it too short because you're going to have a hard time making your little circle. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> it's about an inch. An inch is quite enough to, uh, to make your little circle. So then you just get this glue gun out of the way and I'm going to bring this up again. All right, and then you just make your little circle. Um, okay, one from the outside, one from the inside. So start at the edge here and twirl. Put your little pliers flat on the little head, on the little antenna. And, you, and because this 24 gauge wire is so easy to use, to work with, you can even use your fingers after if you have trouble um, holding on to the needle nose plier. So here we go. Okay. And what I like to do here, so that the wire doesn't, uh, sometimes, you know, they go a little, over time, they might go a little rusty or something. So, I will show you a trick. It's not very hard. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, I'm back. Nail polish. It's as easy as that. Nail polish, you can use top coat, you can use a nail polish that has a color, a slight color, and then you coat it, and then it'll give it a nice finish, and you're not going to have that rusty look to it, because it does go on the patio door, so you, you know, if it hits the rain or something, you don't want to, uh, it to start discoloring or something, so use a nail polish. Give it maybe two coats. Okay. I got myself uh, this thing at a thrift store, and I find it very handy. So now, as I'm gluing, I can set my things in there, and I thought, oh, this is great for jewelry and everything. So you don't have to use your hands, you see? So when it's dry, you can do your second coat and do the same thing at the bottom where your little head is where you're, uh, here at the bottom you're going to press i should have done this before i put the uh, the nail polish but i didn't put much of it you're going to press it against the bead once you make your little circle so it looks like it's part of the bead part of the body okay and then you're just going to coat it again with a little small coat, thin coat of nail polish remover or a nail polish remover, nail polish. You can use any nail polish you like. And you can do that as maintenance in the seasons, you know, during at the end of the season if you want. Just to keep it fresh, you know. And that's pretty much my little dragonfly. And then I'll show you how I uh, I secured it to uh, so that it can uh, stay on the little uh, the little net here. Okay. All all you have to do is find yourself a big bead, you know, because you want to be able to see it. And I'll show you. Okay, in a minute when this is dry. Okay. Then you need just some jewelry elastic. You don't need anything too thick. 